there, comic book lovers. I am going to be doing a review of a trade paperback by one of, one of, if not the favorite comic writer in the industry right now. Dan Schaefer. It's called White. It is a miniseries. Like it's like four issues or something. And I have to tell you, this is another exceptional book by this man. Every story that I've read, whether it's just a graphic novel or a miniseries or anything like that, that I've read by him, it is something completely new, completely different, very well done, and enjoyable. I mean, you, you go and you really don't know what you're going to get when you pick up his stuff, other than it being thoroughly enjoyable and very well done. So, on to this book. It is written and drawn by Dan Schaefer. And it is one of the scariest books I have read in a long time. Done by comicsheatingup.net. Now, this is a kind of a multi-layered story. Obviously, it is about sharks. But it is also about predators. In a couple of different senses. Uh, so... The book opens up with a plane crash in the middle of the Pacific. There are like two or three survivors originally, and then within the first like couple pages, boom, one person left. Her name is Willa Harpa. You, you eventually find out. And she is managed to get on the wing of a plane, get a hold of some sat phone, and finds out that she is surrounded by sharks. You eventually find out that she was a production assistant or an assistant to a really famous actor. They're on their way to Hawaii. Plane crashes. And things only get worse from there because uh, she had rebuffed the man's advances. She didn't want to blow him in the bathroom on the plane. And so he wound up getting her fired. And so she would have, if the plane hadn't crashed, she would have been sent back to, like, the minute they, la they landed. So she's got that. Then she finds out there's hundreds of sharks. She can't get... Coast Guard on the phone, they're saying, you know, someone from you know, Cape Town, South, South Africa and stuff like that is on the phone and they're, you know, like, it's going to be like four hours before they can get anyone out there. So things are just looking bleak. And to top it off, you find out that she's being visited by Aunt Flo. So getting in the water would uh, cause some issues due to the blood. And it goes, it goes from there with her having to deal with you know, huge amounts of you know, giant sharks, trying to coordinate, trying to get people to rescue her. Uh, it's, it's really kind of it's a lot more suspenseful and entertaining than the description I'm giving. Trust me on this one. But Dan obviously did a lot of work looking into sharks, uh, the behaviors of sharks, what their instincts are. And the information that he delivers in this story about sharks is done in a very uh, flowing manner. It's not 
you know, it's not stilted or pounded into your head. It's, you know, it's, you know, it's written in a very interesting way. And you actually learn stuff, you know, and things. But so it's not just, the story is also not just talking about you know, the great white. And they're being apex predators. They also there's also a sub sub plot of human predators, in the sense of you know the people taking advantage of people less powerful than them. You like it's kind of a little comment on. I don't know. I guess it really is Hollywood. <laughs> And you know, the, the, the people that have the money and the power up there, and, you know, the, the people like her who don't and how they're treated. So there's that predator aspect. And though not explicit, it's more implicit. Uh, the distinction between the two, one is nature, one is uh, by choice. How they treat it, and then there's also a couple little things about uh, the differences in the way conf uh, conservation, the, the the way the sharks are treated, how the uh, people who are supposed to be saving these things, how that is being manipulated. I mean, those are all just like subplots. The main thing, subplots that affect the main story of whether or not she is going to get rescued uh, because some of these things some of the machinations by the, these people almost I don't want to you know destroy anything has some serious consequences or could have some serious consequences at the end of the book I just have to tell you, this man never ceases to amaze me on the fun stuff that he writes, the interesting things that he writes, and, you know, things like this, with a huge shark attacking another shark. And not only did Dan write this stuff, but he drew it, and these are some these are some really, really good uh, pictures and you know, good, good artwork, and it goes helps set the mood with the story. So I'm going to give this a four point five of four point seven five out of five, just because it's Dan Schaefer. I might as well. I probably could have done given that review before I even read it, because all this stuff is usually pretty high. But I wanted to read it first, and I have to tell you, damn, just, if you haven't read it, read it. It's awesome. All right, like and subscribe, and talk to you later.